Hey, what's up? This is John Deloney with Ramsey Network. Today we're talking about anxiety and the nonsensical way we talk about it now. Everybody's got anxiety. Everyone's a diagnosis. Everyone's walking around feeling like they've got some disease. We're going to cut through the nonsense today. We're going to get through the myths and I'm going to give you a different picture, a different way to frame anxiety that hopefully will help your heart, give you some action steps for moving forward. So here's the deal. Anxiety is not a disease. Anxiety is not something that is passed along genetically that you are just encoded to have. Anxiety is not a diagnosis that you get forever that is a blanket or a cape that you will wear around that impacts every second of your life for the rest of your life. Anxiety is real. It is powerful and it is painful. I've been there. I've been sitting in my backyard crying, thinking about what a terrible dad I am. I've been laid low when I'm sitting in a meeting trying to explain something and my heart is racing as though somebody's running in the door with an ax and there's nobody coming in the door with an ax. Anxiety isolates us. It makes us feel like we're alone, like we're the only one, and it sucks. But that's not the end of the story. So here's a new picture of anxiety. Here's a new way to think about it, a new way to reframe it. Let's pretend you agreed to cook breakfast for your family. You also agreed to make your kids lunches for school and your husband, your wife's lunch for work. You also are gonna do all the desserts for the church potluck. And oh, I forgot, you also are gonna be part of a big giant neighborhood cookout. You're one of those kind of people that loves their neighbors, whatever. So um, you're gonna be responsible for all the meat and a couple of sides. And by the way, there's this other woman at work and she's sick and she's on this casserole list. And so you said, I'm gonna make 10 casseroles and she's gonna get them all frozen, all done, everything. And they're all due at noon. And this is kind of weird, but you live in an old house and you got one plug, right? And an oven. So you race in at eight o'clock in the morning, one Saturday, and you plug in the crock pot, you plug in the rice cooker, you plug in, I don't know, the, the hot water maker, cause you gotta bring coffee too. Then you turn to the oven and you got water boiling on one of the, on one of the burners and you got meat cooking on another burner and you got vegetables on one, you got potatoes boiling on the other. You open up the oven, you got cookies and you gotta hurry, man. So you got frozen pizzas on, on one bank and then on the bottom bank, you're cooking bread, you're cooking muffins and this thing's going. And then by the way, your kids come running into the kitchen and you're like, what, what? And one's crying, one's hitting the other. And then your partner comes in and just stands in the middle middle of the kitchen, sad. But you still gotta be going, so you, you're checking the water levels, and you're checking the, the, the bread to make sure it's rising right, and you're mixing things over on the bowl, and then the dog comes in, and you didn't feed the dog, so you gotta go around and feed the dog, and then all of a sudden, this one little outlet starts smoking, just a little bit, just smoking, just smoking a little bit. It's overheating, right? But you still gotta bump bumping into your partner standing there in the middle, because they're still sad. Your kids are still hitting each other, the dog's eating now, but I forgot the water for the dog. So you're just going and going, and you forgot to take the paper off the bottom of one of the frozen pizzas. Now you got a little fire in the stove. You look over at the outlet, that sucker's on fire too, man. You put too many plugs in that one stupid outlet, and now you got smoke in your kitchen. Your kids are still running around. There's your partner, sad, and there's smoke everywhere, dude. And you look up and your smoke alarm is going off. That stupid fire alarm above you, and it's going bam, bam, and people are running around, and you gotta get that alarm to shut off. And so you stop, calmly, you go over to your computer, you pick it up, and you Google, how do you turn off your fire alarm? And it says things like, light an incense candle, take deep breaths, and then the, the alarm will just shut off. Or even better yet, try hot yoga. So you race to your room, you put on some yoga clothes, you come back in, the smoke's still billowing out of your, of your oven, out of the outlet, your partner's still sad, your kids are running around everywhere, dog, it's actually doing cool now because you fed it and watered it and that's cool. And you start trying to do yoga, the alarm is still going off, and now the fire has spread to the walls, it's on the ceiling, your kitchen is fully on fire and the alarm is still going off. You don't know what to do, so you text a friend. Hey, how do you turn off your fire alarm in your kitchen? And they say, well, I got this buddy who knows a guy who went to a doctor, and that doctor taught him how to take the batteries out of the fire alarm. And you're like, sweet! And so you get a ladder. There's smoke everywhere, by the way. Not super hot, too. Still in your yoga clothes. That's weird, but whatever. You climb up on the ladder, and you take the batteries out, and the alarm stops, and you go, ah, just, <clears throat> Your house caves in on you, your loved ones, even your dog, 
right? In that picture, anxiety is just a fire alarm. It's just a fire alarm telling you that you're not connected to your loved ones, that your ecosystem is on fire. The world you've created for yourself is on fire and you have overloaded your circuits. That's it. That's it. And what we've done as a country, as a world with anxiety, is we've pathologized it, we've made it the demon, when all it's trying to do is tell us the way we are living is completely out of whack. Completely and totally out of whack. So cool, Deloney. My fire alarms are going off. My wife, I love her. Her fire alarms are going off. My mom, her alarms are going off. Our country's alarms going off. What do we do? That's the beautiful thing. As I'm sitting here in front of this camera, having struggled and been laid low by anxiety, but I got a wife who loves me most days, two healthy kids, and I don't struggle from anxiety anymore. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and it's a process, and it's hard, but it's worth it because you have value, and you and your loved ones are worth being well. Because if you take care of your kitchen, if you take care of your home, if you put the fires out, you deal with the smoke, you deal with your relationships, the alarms take care of themselves. Anxiety is just a fire alarm. It's not a forever diagnosis. You and your loved ones are not their anxiety. They're not. It's just a fire alarm. If you know somebody who's struggling with anxiety, send them this video. If you have questions about anxiety, depression, ADHD, shoot me an email at ashjohn at ramseysolutions.com. The email address should be below here. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be talking about mental health issues and diagnosis and getting new pictures of what this stuff actually means. Follow me at all the socials and on the internets and all that kind of stuff and I'll talk to you soon. Take care and be kind to one another.